the tale of the tape for our main event of the evening. The WBA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World is on the line. Both men in their fighting primes, 31 years of age. It's Beeble that will have a height and reach advantage over the much smaller Canelo Alvarez. What's the key here in the first round, Sergio? First round is to get past that jab, that shotgun jab of Beeble. How is he going to be able to break that distance that Beeble keeps so well? Canelo said he can't get off to a slow start, which he usually likes to do, Daniel. Why is that? Because Beeble is a a puncher that throws shots and bunches. He has a large uh, arsenal that he uses, but one of them being his punch count. So Canelo can't start off short and slow because he'll be back trailing. And he's going to throw that jab a lot. In his last fight, 76% of his punches were jabs. Talking to Bebo's team this week, they want to be unpredictable with the right hand. They felt Kovalev was more too predictable when he tried to throw that. They want to make Canelo thinking about that right hand for most of this fight. Canelo trying to come around the guard, the high guard of Bebo right now with left and right hooks. Tight guard being shown here by Canelo. Same tight guard that he had in front of Kovalev, like Manic said. So that jab will be effective even if it's just touching those gloves. Put the guard for Alvarez. But you can see when Bebo throws the one twos like this, he is scoring. And these are bothering Canelo Daniel. And you can excuse me, Daniel. You can see the, the forehead of Canelo getting red in as well. So the, those jabs and those punches, even though they're not a lot of power behind them, they're still having effect. That left goes around the guard of Bebo. Keeping that hand up high because he has to. We've seen Canelo in the early stages of a fight take his time and then start to figure out his opponent and wear him down. Sergio, do you think he can do that against this bigger man? I, I just, he, he's going to have a, a harder time doing it with Bebo because look, Bebo's not going to stay against the ropes just like he did there. He's always going to have to fight in the middle of the ring. Bebo is not loading up on punches as well. We haven't seen a lot of fighters come after Canelo the way that Bebo has. According to CompuBox, Bebo has thrown 40 more punches than Alvarez so far. right hands. Canelo's been all power shots this round. But we've seen this before with Canelo Alvarez, where he's biding his time, maybe even losing rounds or close rounds. We've seen it with Caleb Plant. We've seen it with BJ Saunders. And then in a flash, he turns it on. That's what he does so well. 
he stays in control. No emotion from Biba. He's a boxing robot in there. Just a moment ago, both of you said, hey, this could be time. Maybe Bebo will go around. There's some that probably Watch say, wait a minute, Bebo's probably Watch winning this 6 one you. Watch your head. Two. You wouldn't go that far either, but yeah, it's a close fight, and I will edge out Bebo. Let's see what Chris Mannix thinks. I've got 68-65 in favor of Dimitri Bebo. That jab is being used flawlessly as a weapon. Bebo is throwing combinations. He's landing. He's having more success landing punches than really anyone I've seen since Gennady Golovkin back in 2017-18. And he just did so there. It's the one-two combination for Bebo, and it's been finding its mark most of the night. Anybody that will tell you how Bebo will win this fight, this is how we'll do it. With the one-twos, Bastion Canelo moving in circles, staying off the ropes, Bebo's doing exactly what he needs to do to win this fight. Only one man has beaten Canelo Alvarez. That's a great Floyd Mayweather Jr. He did it by fighting Canelo on his terms. That's what Bebo is doing right now. He fights someone he wants, but he boxes more often. Stepping back and still staying in control, not giving up control. Oh. Stop. Yeah, he's frustrated. With acts like this, Canelo is definitely frustrated. He's been frustrated. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yes, yeah, sir, Joe, when it gets to a point where Bebo's hitting him just that will, and he's a bigger guy. It's almost very nerve-wracking for Canelo. Last round, but, you know, I thought Canelo could have, one of those shots could have went down. Very strong chip for Canelo. Canelo has fought 18 different world champions. Only Floyd Mayweather has beaten him. And Bebo has only faced two world champions. He's in a position to beat the champion of the world. Oh, 
finish line.